logged in here, what am I vlog? Well, when I spent the day until I got rained out, just putting up the new framing on the ad. Filling out the rest of the pad. So, this is what I'm doing. I made it, made the thing here eight feet, eight feet high. And it's pretty much just gonna be a lean to. Um, I gotta buy some more beams. I'm, kinda, I'm out. Um, so I basically did the same thing. I staggered, staggered them across. Cause when you bolt them together, you don't have room to, you can't put the beams um, together. And that's wide enough. I'm not worried about it. Cause you did, I did the exact same thing to the main one. So, which I got rained out. Um, what I had to do is get everything leveled off. I had to lift everything up with uh, two by fours um, to get it the way I want it. It's just a little bit of an angle, so the water will run run off easily off to the side. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share, and we'll catch you on the next project. Lift garage. Alright. And I finally got my all my uprights where they need to be. Now I'm going back through with the uh, um, I got carriage bolts which fit in there perfectly. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm running running back through, bolting these all together with uh, carriage bolts and then um, that I'm using uh, bag bolts to go in the uh, into my wood wood braces on the bottom and you use a brick on the end with an added um, three but uh, everything solid as a solid as a rock that's what I want um, I'll be so glad when I'm not using tarps anymore oh my word Hey, Danny, welcome to my vlog. And it's a continuation of building my lift garage. That section's almost done. I got like one more piece of metal I need to put on the back side on that. And then I got to need to go across the top. So right now what I'm doing is I'm adding, adding a lean-to onto it. And then uh, I'll be able to enclose the, enclose the entire, entire building. Uh, I'm using instead of putting uh, two by fours in between each of the slots this time I'm using a 10 10 foot uh, by 42 pallets and I'm putting bolting those together I went ahead and bolted the the first ones all the way to the all the way across with uh, long lag bolts and then I'm then I'm pulling these together with shorter lag bolts and then I'll figure out how to bring it bring it down and bolt it bolt it actually to the uh, cross cross members here but uh, there's a lot of weight right there now <laughs> especially once they're bolted together so that's what I'm doing right now I've got to finish up on uh, putting this up putting this one up there um, I've gone ahead and I put. Uh, I got this one here. That I got to get together, and then I got to cut. I got to cut two, half that length, half the width, and then put it on the outside. So with that said, let me get this shoved up here. All right, I want to right, the, right on the edge here so they're butted up. All right. See where I got the. Oh, I see. I see. I got a 
piece underneath it that's got to be there because you gotta you gotta go on top of that one. There you go. That's level them up. That's keeping them level all the way across. All right. I like it. I got a couple of loose loose pieces, but when I go up there to do the put the metal up there, I'll worry about that then. All right now it's just pulling them together. And because this is hard wood, I have to drill drill holes through it. Get that as flush as I can. Alright. Alright, great. Alright. Pull them together. I gotta get up then drill holes and that will pull it pull it together. I want those I want these here as, as flush as I can get them. Alright. Man. And of course my hard my hard part now is gonna be getting this last piece, my last cross member on the back side here. Uh, I just ain't figured out how I'm gonna do that yet. Um, so, but I'll figure it out. I can enclose it. But I figure, I figure this would be the easiest way to put that roof on there without having to cut 45 pieces of pieces of ply, uh, two by four, like I did that one there. Um, that was the way that one, that's the way I had, uh, seen this one going together. And that's the way I did it. So, yeah, two, five, two by fours, I think 40, 45, 45 inches. And they sat right in there, uh, slots. And then, and then I drilled them. And then I put, uh, um, I put self-tapping screws in each one of those, holding them to the uh, the cross member, and then <clears throat> because of the fact that I didn't have long enough beams or uprights, I went ahead and did it this way. And then when I got really short, because I didn't have any more uprights, I went ahead and took pieces and I welded them together and then lifted it up and then eventually cut off the excess um, on the inside here going on the cross member because of the fact that I did have it um, pulled together and I didn't have a I didn't have another one going up I went ahead and I took two by four went around the outside of it and uh, used um, um, carriage bolts, drilled through the drilled through the metal, and then used the carriage bolts to uh, install the two by four on the outside. And then, all said and done, I took the furling strips and went across this way. Um, when I do uh, twenty four. At 24 inches all the way across so that's how that's so that's how that roof was done and this one as simple as I could get it just using pallets going across and then uh, we'll go ahead and I'll screw the uh, metal into the they're already <laughs> set across there but I don't have it looks like right now I don't have any 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 of the darn things lined up with each other, so I may have to do the um, I may have to do the furling thing on that because I, as I can see, none of the uh, doesn't look like any of the 
anything's mating mating up <laughs> so I may have to I may have to go with the make my own furlings all the way across that are in line with each other so well we'll get to that point let me get these uh, I need to drill drill through that and get the get those pulled together